Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy Fenton Friday. <laughs> so good morning, Friday already. Yes, I am standing uh, on the shores of beautiful Lake Erie in Huron, Ohio. And uh, in anticipation of our event next week on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I hope you can come. We have our lodge full and uh, it's gonna be a fun time. Uh, very excited, I can't believe it's only a few days away. Um, but this beautiful lighthouse behind me is the Huron Lighthouse. It's right on uh, Lake Erie. And if you um, wanna go for just a, a half a block of drive or half a mile drive, I don't know how far it is, not very far. You can go out and you can walk let me see. You can walk that pier and you can go straight out to the lighthouse. It's a fun walk and it's it's just a beautiful lake and you'll really enjoy it. It's right across a channel from Nickel Beach and Nickel Beach is right around the block from us. So we will be there next week. Um, the, the big night will be Wednesday when we go to the Angry Bull Steakhouse. And I talked to the owners yesterday. We're going to be there on a day that is walleye for special. However, he has told me that he'll give us a special uh, rate on prime rib. And this uh, Angry Bull Steakhouse is in here in Ohio, and it was uh, rated one of the nine best steakhouses in the state of Ohio. And the prime rib dinner, are you ready for this? In these days of inflation, and you can't get a good steak, the prime rib dinner is going to be two for $35. So if you want to come to Huron with us, just let us know. Yes, you're here and awake. Hi, Polly. All right. Hello, Facebook. I don't see anybody from Facebook. Can somebody from Facebook come on in and let me know how it looks there? I haven't streamed over there. So, so that is going to be next week. So what did I do yesterday? I got myself in more trouble. I um, We have this uh, uh, kind of, a am going to say, historic uh, boutique sale. Good morning, Gabby. Our, th this historic boutique store in our, our little Norman Rockwell town of Marshall, and it's called the Hull Tree, and it's been there forever and ever and ever. And um, I, I, look, I helped liquidate their business yesterday, and we bought probably half of the contents of the store. So I'm very tickled about this for a boutique sale, because what this means is um, you know, QVC had the big warehouse fire in the spring, so I've been having trouble um, getting merchandise, and um, the shipping is so expensive. I was able to get tons of stuff from the Hall Tree, and Timmy will tell you about the Hall Tree. You're going to be able to get items, uh, jewelry that is $39 to $75 earrings. You're going to be able to get dresses and coats that are upwards of $150 to $225. And you're going to get them for not too different a price that you're used to paying with the QVC stuff. A lot of it will be the same price or cheaper. Um, I'm just so excited about it. I just, I can't wait. I'm going to pick it all up next week. Um, we're going to have to put it all on pallets and bring it home. But yes, uh, it is going to be such a cool summer going through that stuff. And we have stuff right up until... Um, Sweater season this fall, we're going to have tons of stuff, and we're also going to continue with the One World items and stuff. It's just it's just to give us some variety. So that's what I did yesterday, and uh, that's why I did not come on yesterday. Um, but that's okay because I I figured you know gas prices and freight prices are only going to go up higher, and this was right in my backyard, so I went and did it. All right. Are we ready for Fenton Friday? And tonight we're going to come on. It's a Fenton double header today. So we'll be on tonight with Fenton also. Hi, Sean. Yes, and we'll bring it all to you in the evenings. Um, one more note. The 10 at 10 is going to be very sporadic this ne next week. And I might come in tomorrow and Sunday and do a 10 at 10 because we can't do one Monday. We'll try to do one Tuesday, 
Wednesday will be at the flea market and Thursday will be coming home. So I may come on this weekend with a tenant Tim. Cato, I will tell you about the dentist. Do you know what he did? I, I was down for a filling, so I got all psyched up because I'm finally going to fill that tooth. I go in there, sit in the dentist chair. I'm all ready. Bring it on. They put another cap on it. I was not happy because apparently you can't get a dentist appointment. Um, I just don't understand. The cap took 10 minutes. I think a filling would have took 20. Ugh. So I got to go through all that, all that again. But that's okay. That's okay. I got a lot of dental work. They're easing me in slowly. All right, we're gonna do choice book. Or we're gonna do this book. We've got some books here we're gonna do in a timed fashion, um, our first three lots. And then um, we'll have some more hardback books tonight. So this is gonna be a timed lot. And this is uh, the 1980s decade. Let me get my timer up here. All right, I think we're all set. 1980s. So you're going to get the book. And this is a timed, a timed item. 1980s decade for you new collectors. Um, we've had this book before. I just got a few more of them in. It is a beautiful illustrated book from the 1980s. And it is, it is um, soft covered, but look at the pictures. It's just such a good reference book. I have the series and it shows you all the colors, everything from the 80s. And Polly's going to start us out. And here we go. I think we go. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> $5. So you see it's pretty thick. 176 pages. It's Jim Measle. He's a, re he's, a really, um, he's a really renowned author when it comes to antiques. And you can see it's all very heavily illustrated. It tells you the color, red carnival, teal marigold, Salem blue, lilac. And it look at all the pictures in it. So we're going to sell one. It's It's got a lot of colored pictures in it. Oh, I just, and every time I look at it, I find a pattern that I didn't know. This, I have this vase and I didn't even realize what it was sculptured ice optics i never heard of that and i've looked at this book a million times so we have five dollars bid there's the seashell lamps oh my gosh it's just it's really good if you're just getting into fenton it's a great book to cab it's a great book to carry in your car while you're um while you're antiquing here we go and we're gonna sell one and this is a time block, so get in there. 30 seconds and she goes. $6 is bid with Carrie. Seven with Mal. This, to me, this series is, is the best series on um, Fenton glass, especially the, the contemporary Fenton glass. And we'll sell at least one. Good morning, Anita. Anita. $9 is bid. This is our timed lot. So you want to grab it. 10 with Polly. All right, let's see. It looks like Kathy is in at 12. Okay, Kathy, I have three of these books. So Kathy can get one at 12. Polly can get one at 12. And Carrie Harrington can get one at 12 if you guys want them. That's a great deal, but um, I'm, I'm going to let them go for that because we have to start somewhere, and it's Friday. 
So I have one for Polly. Kathy, did you want one? Okay, Kathy wants one too. And we have one more left. We have one more left. You want another one? We have another one left. So just say 80s and you can get the last one. Okay, Vicki Martin. And that is a great price, but I got too many books around here. And I wanted to start the sale and the Friday with a great deal. All right, let me go ahead and mark that one. Okay, let's do another one. Now these, everybody has been wanting these QVC books. These, th this book is also by Jim Meisel, and this is the QVC um, book. This is really what everybody is into right now, all the painted items that Fenton made for QVC. Um, this, this is just, I see you, Jan. This is just an awesome book. This is the QVC book. Very, very sought after. We haven't had them in a while. And so this is going to be number 102. I put 102 on one of these books. So this is going to be number 102, and this will be a timed lot, too. QVC. $10 is bid, and here we go. These are in good used condition, and um, this, these, this is my favorite, favorite book because I love the QVC stuff from the 80s from the 90s i believe and this is all the stuff that was specifically made for qvc so it's a great reference book and plus it's just wonderful to look at and like i said what's so cool about these reference books is every time you look at them you find something new so here is what we were talking about and we've talked about in the mornings here this is basket handler dave vincent and these are the marks that are in your handles. And this is how you tell who goes to who. So the handles are stamped at the bottom. And this gives you all the list of all of the basket handle makers. And um, that's kind of interesting. So it is the QVC book. Here is the timer. Sixteen dollars is bid. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Judy, I wish you were coming to Marriott or to Huron. That would be so fun if you if you could come up. Gosh, but we'll see you in a few weeks. Marietta is coming up at the end of July. I'm, I have my head. Great intentions of getting room numbers out to you this week, but with the with the boutique sale that we had to do or the boutique store that we helped with, um, I didn't get them out. So I'm going to try to get those room numbers out to this afternoon to all of you that are coming. Um, and you can call the hotel. I'll put that number in the correspondence and you can call them and reserve that room for you. They're already blocked off, so you don't have to worry about that. Everything's blocked off. Okay, this is 102, and it is sold. Looks like Judy Huff. Let's make sure. Sometimes bids will come in with the lag just a little bit. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, it would be cool. It would be cool. All right, so let's see. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie bought that one. No, Rosie says sold, and Judy Huff gets the first one. I have two. Um, so I'm going to give Judy Hupp one and, um, Vicki Martin, if you would like the other one, you can have it. So 
So Vicki, I'm putting you down for one. Um, if you if you don't want it, let me know, but I got you down for one because you're with a backup. That okay with you? Well, they're saying rain for Wednesday. That's our flea market challenge day. So I'm I'm hoping they change that forecast. If it looks like rain, we'll we'll open the flea market challenge to our antique storing day on Tuesday too. So it's going to be interesting. Okay. Next up. Uh, this is our last time lot, and this is 103. And 103 will be the 90s decade. Now this is the this is the thickest book, um, and and uh, it is the 90s decade. Look at on the cover. It has beautiful lamp. It has a Dave Fetty vase, um, and this to me is like the heyday in the 90s of the more contemporary era. Um, they were apparently kind of struggling, or I don't know what they were doing. Maybe it was just. QVC was in there, and they really, really did some good work in the 90s. Okay, so this is number 103. Or this is a 90s book. So for those of you that don't know, QVC was actually the demise of Fenton. Here we go. Or at least contributed to it. And that sounds kind of weird because Fenton did a lot of business with QVC. However, they had a contract with QVC and um, they had to accept all the returns. And so they started getting all these returns in from QVC and they could not resell those returns. They had to alter the alter them. And the cost to alter them, which would be to sand them off and have them repainted, was, was extraordinary. So they had piles and piles of returns from QVC and they could not recover from that. Um, and between that and just the marketplace, as we know, they didn't last too long. All right, $20. And really it was just a poor decision on on the Fentons at that time to go ahead and, and allow that with QVC. I can understand why they did because they thought the business part of it, you know, the volume would be fine and they could handle those returns, but they didn't anticipate the amount of returns that they did get. Here we go with the timer. $20 with Linda. 21 with Linda, excuse me. The timer is going up. We have $21 with Linda Imbus, our night owl. And we have just in about another 10 seconds. This is the thickest book. This one is 224 pages, very illustrated. It's a nice one. Um, you'll look at it time and time again, and you'll always see something new. All right, I do anyway. Not that they want it, it differently done. They just didn't want the returns re resold um, that was in their contract. And so you can imagine, I mean, you, you've got a painted animal and you can't sell it. You have to sand it off and have it painted again. And um, they just, there wasn't time to do that. It wasn't financially feasible to do that. And so they just stockpiled all these returns, which they had to refund. And uh, it just killed them. Okay, Kathy, you're in at 23. You get one. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to give Kathy this one. This one's um, really the best shape of the two. So Kathy gets 103. And that's the 90s. And that was for 23. Let me see what the other ones look like here. Oops, got to put a sticker on it. Okay, this one is a decent one. This one's in good, it's it's more than decent. It's in great shape. So Linda, if you want this one, you can have this one. And these will go media mail unless you have a pile. Linda, what do you think?
Okay, so Linda takes that one for 23. Okay, I have one more. This one is in rough shape. It looks like it's been, I don't know. The corners are in, in, in the binding's good. It just looks like it's been, I don't know what. Um, so if you want this one, I'll do 15. Just say you want the last one. And I'll do 15 on that one. So if you want that last one, it's in it's in good shape. It just looks like the binding is uh, coming up. Not the binding. The corners are rough. So I'll do 15 on this one. Just say you want the last one. Polly, okay. I see you, Marnie, but Polly came in first. Hi, Marnie, how are you? All right, we're gonna put our split screen on here and we're gonna start with our regular sale. Look at that. So we have two eagles and these are Fenton eagles. We have one that is a flame red and one that's a burgundy red. These are both slag. Um, we are no longer going to do the um, timer. So we'll make sure that you ask us if you're in or out. Let me see. I got my camera turned a different way today. So I hope you can see those okay. Um, I'll look for you one, Marnie, okay? I, I may have another one around, or around here, and if I do, I'll write you down for it. Okay, number 104. Choice Eagle. We are doing a draw today. The draw is for another. We don't have very many of these left. I love these. These uh, mango papaya candles. So that is our draw for our winner today. And we have some box items that we're going to do next. All right, here we go. Linda with the long name starts us out at 10. So these are the Eagles from 1976. You're getting the burgundy one or the red one. They are both in slag. Okay, Marnie, I'll remember because you have your name is the same as my mom's name. So I'll remember you, Marnie. And if I find the 90s book, I will, an extra one, I will definitely let you know. All right, Thrift and Mori is at 11 for choice. These are both marked 1976. They were put out by Fenton to commemorate the bicentennial. This one is a deep burgundy slag. And then the other one is a flame. And I believe the one does glow. Yes, one does glow cadmium. Landrico, she's in at 15. So this one, we're done with the timer today. We will have more books tonight. I have a John Walk. I have three John Walk books, hardcovered books, maybe four, that we'll put up tonight. First thing. Sixteen. Good morning. Good morning to you. Seventeen with Linda. You'll get choice on either one. Uh, Debbie is in at eighteen. Where my tape measure is. Oh, here it is. Let me go ahead and measure these for you. Top to bottom, they're about four and a half inches. So next week at Huron, we are going to have sales every evening. Monday night will be a community sale. Um, so if anybody wants to come down and sell with us Monday night, Monday is kind of check-in at four o'clock and then we get situated. We're going to have pizza in-house, and then we're just going to sit down and warm up the week with a community sale. Um, that'll be at 8. Tuesday night, uh, Trudy will be with us live, um, and Trudy will be right in-house with us. She's staying with us in Huron. That will be Tuesday night. Um, Wednesday will be our flea market challenge night, um, and we're going to have little things going on all the time. We may have pop-up sales here and there. 
So you're going to want to make sure you're on YouTube and you want to make sure that you click the notification bell and subscribe because we may pop up and do a sale one afternoon. You just never know. Tons of screenshots here. I'm taking these off. All right. Everybody, okay, Vicki Martin is in at 21. We're going to do a last chance. Uh, Susie Q is in at 23. I do too. And they're saying Wednesday when we go, it's going to be, there's a chance of rain. But if we can get the first couple hours out, we'll do fine. Last year it rained on Flea Market Challenge and we went in the buildings and bought and we still pulled it off. So um, if it looks like it's going to rain, we're, if anybody that goes uh, to the antique stores and stuff, on Tuesday, we'll let them include that in the flea market challenge. We'll see how the weather is. Norwalk is about, I don't know, 10 or 15 miles away. And I, there's an antique store there that I absolutely adore. So um, that's kind of where I want to go Tuesday. But anybody that comes down can do whatever they want during the day. Um, the house will be there for you. And um, you, can, you can go out and explore on your own. But just make sure in the evening you come back and you're, we, we always do early dinner so we can sell. So we always go to dinner around five o'clock. All right. Vicki Martin is in at 26. Linda, you're out. We did a last chance. Anybody else? All right, it is sold to Vicki Martin. Would you like the Blaze or the Burgundy? They're both slag, Vicki. The choice is yours. Our backup is Linda with the long name. And we're going to go through some more boxes of Wesley's this morning. I went out and grabbed four of them. I really don't know what we have. So, Vicki Martin, the choice is yours. You can take them both if you'd like. You want the flame. Okay, Linda with the long name, would you like the burgundy slag? The V red, I think she means very red. So I'm considering that the flame. Okay, and Linda is going to take the burgundy one. Linda with the long name. We got two Lindas in the house today. And that's 104, the burgundy eagle. Thank you, ladies. All right. Let's just see what we have here. Okay, let's just... This is this is uh, Wesley's stuff. I, for those of you that were at the uh, junk and disorderly sale, you saw my trailer full of boxes, and I have literally a trailer full of boxes. Um, we're gonna sell this. I don't know what's in here. It says it's morning mist, but we'll see. We'll see what it is. Yeah, it's a. Here's a little uh, note about it. So we're just unwrapping this. Oh, it is indeed morning mist. Okay. Ah, uh, this is a pretty one. So you're seeing this first and I am too, because I just go out and unwrap it. This is the beautiful morning mist. Look at this. This is signed by, oh my God, it's Jen Groves. Jen Groves is coming to Marietta. She is Linda's good friend. And I love Jen. And this is a Jen Groves. And what a treasure because Jen, I don't think, actually worked at Fenton very long. Um, maybe Linda's in the house and she can tell us a little bit more. So this is a covered candy, morning mist, five inches round. And it's from 1999. I've got the receipt, the Fenton receipt here when it was bought. 
um, and it was bought, it was $50. And it, the retailer was Cracker Barrel. And she bought it. She was went to a, she in 1999, this gal went on a trip in the fall and she picked it up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is number 105. And this is Morning Mist. Let me see if I can get something over here to help you see that lid. Five inch covered dish. And I gotta show you, look at the color in Morning Mist. The leaves are green and blue. They're accented with blue and little dots. And um, this is what the lid looks like. I'll, I'll put the lid up here for you. And it is a covered dish. It's beautiful. And it's in morning mist. Now, um, there's Jen Groves is, uh, Linda told me this yesterday. She said, we're hippie friends. And she is good friends with Linda Fleming. She is going to come to uh, Marietta this year. So you'll have a chance to meet her. She's going to come on the boat ride. She'll be with us Monday. Um, but the interesting thing about Jen, when she left Fenton, she went to work for Hadley Pottery. And this is something that I just discovered. So Jen Groves worked at Fenton a few years, and then she moved on to Hadley Pottery. Hadley Pottery is now closed also. And I'm going to talk to Jen, and hopefully she'll bring some pieces that she painted at Hadley Pottery, because I find that very interesting. So this is Morning Mist, and this is Jen Groves. And you will love Jen Groves. You should, you should buy this just because you're going to meet Jen Groves this summer. And uh, after you meet her, you will, you will just be, oh my gosh, I should have bought that. I love her. $15. $15 with Debbie from Vintage Green Mountains. This is 105 You do. Yes. She apparently... I'm looking for my my uh, wipes. She apparently did a lot of work yeah, they are, um, on the morning mist. There's a morning mist bear too, and I think she did the bear also. They aren't fully closed yet. I would love to go get some Hadley pottery because um, I that I. I, uh, we used to go down to the Tennessee flea market in Nashville the third Saturday and Sunday of the month. And we always stopped at Hadley Pottery and uh, got pieces of Hadley Pottery and brought it home back in the early days. Polly is in at 25. When I mean early, I mean early. I'm This is my 39th year of horse trading. Polly's at 25. Debbie, let us know if you're in or out. Polly's at 25 in the morning mist. Okay, Debbie's out. 25 is bid with Polly. All in, all done. You can go ahead and do salt. All right. Congratulations, Miss Polly. That is awesome. You're kidding. Opening Wednesday, one day a month. Oh, I wish I was closer. I would love to get down there and buy a truckload of pottery. I have to talk to Jen. Maybe she's down there. Maybe she can bring us some pottery. Okay. Next up. She was still there. I, I, Linda, I find it interesting that she worked at Hadley Pottery. And I hope if she comes that she will bring a piece to show everybody the style that she painted in. Because that's really interesting to me. To make the switch from a 
Fenton designer to a Hadley pottery designer. The styles are so different. The styles are so different. Okay, 106. I'm going to do choice basket here. These are both Fenton. They're both about the same size, so we'll put them up together. You never told me that about her, Linda. <laughs> That's what's so fun about meeting people. You always learn something new about them. Okay, six inches tall on the pink one and about seven on the purple one. And I'm going to show you these. So this pink one has a diamond block design. It has the original price tag on it. And it's signed by Mike Fenton. It's actually um, inscribed here. So that probably was a signing event because Mike Fenton didn't sign very many things. So that is a glossy Rosaline with a twisted rainbow iridized handle. This one is an amethyst um, butterfly and berries. This is a panel piece. This has the original Fenton sticker. And you're going to get your choice of either one of these great pieces. And you didn't tell me she worked for Hadley Pottery. That's cool. I think that's really cool. All right, so um, we'll sell at least one. This one is signed by Mike Fenton, and you see the beautiful. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I, it was just one of those moments like, she did? <laughs> This one, you know, this butterfly and berries, this has um, raspberries and butterflies on it. I have not seen this one in this color. Um, this is very cool because it's a pedestal basket and it has Mike Fenton etched in the bottom of it, 2010. So that was probably at a signing event right down there um, in Williamstown, Marietta, where we're going. Sean McClinton is in at 17. Uh, Timmy is in at 18. Timmy, what do you think of us buying the Hall Tree stuff? Do you, isn't that great stuff in there? Uh, Timmy is at 18. Linda is at, or Lori is at 20. Timmy lives in Marshall too, so she knows how long the Hall Tree's been around. We got some cool stuff. I cannot wait to get it. We got so much stuff. We're going to have to actually pack it in pallets and bring it home on a flatbed trailer. We got that much stuff. 22 with Jamie. And we got a lot of Brighton stuff, including Brighton readers. How cool. Jamie's at 22. It is good, isn't it? Looking forward to see what I got. Yeah. Well, every boutique sale will bring some stuff out. Uh, we have 25 with Thrift and Lori. Good morning, Libby. Libby will be joining us also in Marietta. I'm excited. I'll, I'm going to try to send you the room numbers today. That's that's my goal today. Lori is in at 25. Debbie is out. Linda, let us know. Timmy, let us know. We'll do a last chance. Life gets in the way, I'm telling you. And that's why the next week these 10 at 10s are going to be sporadic and I may do I may do them on the weekends because between traveling, picking up the boutique store next week, um, it's going to be just hard to do the 10 at 10s. We're going to try to do most of them, but we're going to miss a day or two. Jamie's at 27. Linda's out. Jamie's at 27. We're waiting for Timmy. So Jamie's at 27. We're waiting for Timmy. Yeah, Valerie and I, Valerie Dershaw and I, we walked out to that lighthouse last year. And it was windy, but it was fun. Jamie's at 27. We're just waiting for Timmy. Ah, Vicki Martin jumps in there at 28. This is for choice. So now we have 28. We're waiting for Timmy and Jamie. 28 is bid with Vicki Martin. Jamie's out. Vicki Martin's at 28. 
Timmy's at 29. You will get choice, either one. Oh, let me update the wheel. Holy smokes, the candle that we're giving away is the mango pineapple. We're going to put Polly on there. We're going to put Kathy G. We're going to put Vicki Martin and Judy and Linda. I and Linda Long. I think we're all set up. Okay. Timmy's at 29. Vicki Martin, let us know if you're in or out. Timmy's at 29, waiting for Vicki Martin. Vicki Martin is now in at 30. Bitter will get choice. Bitter will get choice. Vicki Martin's at 30. Timmy, in or out? Well, they are saying it's going to be hot. I'm out here this morning, and it's fairly nice out here because we're overcast. I'm hoping that it stays overcast so it's not too hot in here tonight because we're going to have a bunch of Fenton tonight at 8 o'clock. Okay, Vicki Martin, you, you are the winner, and Timmy is the backup, so let us know. This is 106. We're moving right along today. So, Vicki, you get your choice of either one of those and back up. Oh, there goes our signal. Hang on. If it does that, just, just hang out. It'll come, The picture will come back. I'll come back. Okay, Vicki takes the pink. And always know that if it gets bad enough that I have to go out, the studio is still open till I close it. So just hang around and I'll come right back in. Hi, Courtney. Okay, Timmy, did would you like the berries and ra the butterflies and berries? Our backup is Timmy. And if Timmy doesn't want it, the purple one will be up for grabs. And I'm going to open a couple more of these boxes. Okay. The purple one's the one she wanted. You believe it's the 20th already? Goodness gracious. Goodness, goodness gracious. Goes fast. Okay, so this this one is just in a regular box, but it says it's uh amber footed compote, sun design. Don't know the year, but it's a 90 piece. So let's see what we got. Ah, she's got a little receipt in here, too, for this one. It's an amber five-inch compost. Ah, this is pretty. We got this one. Isn't that pretty? Let's see what's in this other one. <laughs> See what's in the stuff. Because there's a perfume in the stopper. Man, did they wrap these things up good? I'm telling you what. And another layer. Let's see what we got here. I actually smell the yellow perfume on this paper. Ah, this is pretty. Okay, so we're going to, you got an opal perfume or this beautiful compote. And you're going to get choice of either one of these. How about that? This is going to be number 107. Hi, Peggy. And you will get your choice of either one of those beautiful pieces. One is more contemporary. 
which would be the Campote. And the other one is more vintage, which would be the perfume. And here we go. You saw how good that was wrapped up. Goodness me. Okay. Polly's at 15. It's that time of the day. You just want to get some dancing done. So you can just take on the rest of the day. $15 with Polly, you'll get either one. The amber, which I call it cameo opal. And they call this the sun, which I, I never heard that called that before. But if you look, if you look here, you'll see the little sunburst. All right, $15 is bid. We have 16 with Carrie Harrington. Ah, Polly loves it when Rosie dances. Yes. Yes, yes. All right, 16 with Carrie, 18 with Polly. I got my cowboy shirt on today. Look at that. I'm all glittered. <laughs> I have a, a flat of flowers that I have been wanting to plant for a week. I'm doing it today. I so I wore a t-shirt so I could get a little grubby this afternoon. Sue is at 19. Carrie's at 20. Okay, Carrie is at 20. Shall I see you? But Carrie was first. We'll do a last chance. Out to your best friend, Susie Q. Susan at 21. I'm going to update the wheel while you guys are looking at this here because Timmy won. I got to put her on there. Okay. Sue is at 21. Shell's at 22 for choice. Shell is our first 22. Hope everybody has a good weekend, but remember today will be on tonight. <laughs> I like this cowboy shirt. Woo. You're going to plant strawberries today and Swiss chard. I, I don't think I've ever had Swiss chard in my life. I see your bid, Shell. You're just lagging. Sue, I see Carrie's bids too, but she's just lagging. Susan at 23. Susie Q's in at 23. It's icky. Well, um, we had, um, John said we had our last asparagus yesterday, and it was really good. I hope he gets more out there. I'm not really a vegetable person, but I am a little bit vegetable-y, vegetable -er, <laughs> since we've, we've lost a little weight. Um, so I am enjoying the taste of vegetables more, um, and I, I really like the asparagus. And John and I, this summer, we'll go nuts with cucumbers. I love cucumbers. I think that's my favorite vegetable. All right. Shell's in at 25. Susie Q's in at 26. But Swiss chard's one, I don't think I've ever tried it. Okay. We'll wait for Shell. Bitter will get choice on either one. Carrie's in at 27. Now, this perfume is, is uh, nine times out of 10 when you see this French opal perfume, you will not find the stopper with it. And it's so nice that this collector actually taped it to the top and kept it with it. 28, Shell. Shell was first this time, Susie Q. Shell's at 28. Waiting for Susie Q and Carrie Harrington. Harry Carrie. <laughs> you don't want to hang around here too long. You'll get a nickname. And if I ever make you mad because I call you by a nickname, you can just tell me, don't do it. <laughs> they just they just pop out. <laughs> 30 with Carrie. 
Carrie's at 30. Susie Q, let me know. All right, so Carrie is in at 30. We're waiting for Susie Q or Shell. Susie Q is at 32. You have three without stoppers. You have, Lori, I have three with great stoppers. Yes. All right, Susie is in at 32. Shell, I see you're 31. Carrie, you and Shell are both out at the moment. You'll get your choice of either one of these great pieces. Yeah, they're really, they're, they're, to find them without the stopper is more likely than to find them with the stopper. All right, Shell's at 35. Hey, Eva. Hey, hey, hey. Shell's at 35. Susie Q. Carrie, let us know. Thirty six. Eva Klassen's in the house. I see your bid, but you didn't bid 36 because Sue's in at 36. Shall I see your bid? But I went from, I just, I went right, right over it because we got 36 bid, but I'm seeing your bids fine and they're coming in pretty good. Sue's at 36. Shell's at 38. So we'll wait for Susie Q. Sue's at 40. Sue's at 40. Shell, let us know if you're in or out. I'm just wondering where Dolores is this morning. I had a nice conversation with Dolores the other night when I didn't have a sale. We talked for an hour and it was such a cool, I, I, Dolores is so awesome. I, I One day I hope we can get together and you can meet Dolores. We have to bring her in here one day. 42. So we're waiting for Sue. Doesn't that water look great behind me? Oh, I love Lake Erie. I think Lake Erie is one of the, the best kept secrets, especially around the Huron area. You can drive out of town just a mile or two and um, you're into just farm country and it's not all built up and it's just gorgeous. She's doing just great. She's doing just great. She, she sounded wonderful. She's not in any pain anymore. She's at home. She's doing just great for 88. 45 with Sue. Shell, let us know. All right. Sold to Susie Q. Shell, thanks for what you did do. This is 107. Sue, let us know which one you'd like. Have them both if you want, the perfume or the compote. Woohoo! Polly's up and around this morning. She's just really getting into it. She's my best cheerleader. Okay, Sue takes the compote. We were all so worried about her. Okay, and that's the one. The compote is the one that Shell wanted, right, Shell? So if anybody wants the perfume, that is up for grabs. But Shell wanted the compote. I'm sure she did. That's what she said. Whoops. 
You're like the Walmart greeter. Yeah. Reminds you of a root beer float? It sure does. That's the truth. Does anybody want the perfume? This is 107. What I'm going to do with the perfume, we're going to start it out at $10, and I'm putting the 30-second timer on. So if you bid $10, we'll start the timer, and it'll go 30 seconds. That's all it will go, 30 seconds, and it will sell. So we'll do this timed. Here we go, and it's going to be up for 30 seconds, and that's it. I'm not waiting for bids. I'll try to show you who's the highest bid. We have 15 right now. It's only going to go up for the clock, and it's going to be gone. Carrie Harrington's our first 15. Sold to Mel Bro. All right. We're going to do Choice Carnival. We're going to do Choice Carnival. Your very first one. Awesome. So we're going to put a little carnival in here. These are both Fenton pieces, and I'll show them to you. This is going to be, are we only on 108? I, I must be chatty this morning. I must be chatty. Sure, Lori, if Rosie wants to send you my email, I will mail a stopper to you. That's that's cool. That's cool. What can I say? It's cool. Okay, I guess we are on 108. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, this one is actually a bowl. And I think this one is Captive Rose, but I get Captive Rose and Persian Medallion all mixed up. I always do. Um, and so this one uh, is a bowl. It's a deep bowl. And look at on the, the flip side, you see the raspberries. And this is Fenton Carnival. The base is Amethyst. And it is seven and a half inches across. So this one is indeed a bowl. That's our first choice. And I'll sell at least one when we do choice. The second one has a cobalt base. And this one is the this one is an older piece. The other piece over here is um, a more contemporary piece from the 80s or 90s. This one is from the early 1900s. This one has a cobalt base. This is very early Fenton. And this one is the Holly and Berry. And this one is nine inches across so you're going to get your choice of either one of those just start us out and this is 108 so uh this piece is more contemporary and you see it's got a design on both sides and it has the amethyst base and it's got the fenton logo on the bottom and then this other one is very old it has a cobalt blue base and you will get choice of one or the other and here we go 
And I see that the Fenton gift shop and the Fentons are finally, finally cutting. They're, uh, they're getting tough on people who are using the Fenton logo, um, which to me, I'm excited about that because we may see a crackdown on fakes being produced. And there's so many fake Fenton pieces out there in today's world. So I was excited to see that happen. So maybe our Fenton logo will be protected and we'll, we'll understand that when you see a Fenton logo, it is a genuine Fenton piece. All right, 20 with Sean. Tw or 18 with Sean, 20 with Anita. Look at how gorgeous this is. Of course, the early Fenton pieces, the very early Fenton pieces, um, and those in the mid-century didn't have the logos on them. Uh, I think they started putting the logos on in the 70s, I'm thinking. So you can get to the early pieces, you just have to recognize the patterns and the molds. And this is very early. Beautiful piece. 21, Regina. And um, if you look at them, th uh, the older pieces are a little bit lighter than the more contemporary carnival. But they're both beautiful. Sean is out. Anita's at 23 for choice. This is number 108. I'm going to go put a few more on our list of winners, which would be Suzy Q and Mel Bro. Okay. Regina's in at 24 for choice. It's a good time to go to Hero next week. It's the week before Memorial Day, so you don't have a lot of different things going on. What is a fake Fenton? Okay, there, there is a difference between a fake and a reproduction. Now, I'll try to say this quickly, and I'm not prepared for it. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do some videos on this so that we understand the colors because apparently they're not being told to us as collectors. Um, what a fake means is it's almost impossible to tell from the original. And um, there are pieces out there that are that have been made with Fenton molds that are that are floating around everywhere after the factory closed, and some of them have Fenton logos on them. And so when some, another company makes a piece of Fenton glass or a prior, not it's not Fenton anymore, but if, if they make a piece of glass using a Fenton mold that somebody picked up and it has the Fenton logo on it, that's a fake because there's really no way to tell the difference unless you know the colors. Now a reproduction is um, they may have used a Fenton mold um, that somebody has purchased, but it clearly has a monster stamp on the bottom of it or a stamp that the Fenton logo is, is either wiped off of it or um, there's a way to tell that it's a reproduction. So that's the difference. Um, a fake is meant to deceive you. Um, that's why they're made. And a reproduction is out there. It's uh, I have a lot of reproductions because, you know, if you can't afford a Remington for five or six thousand dollars, you can go out and get a $250 Remington that's a reproduction. I like that. I'll deal with that. I have a reproduction oak uh, clock that I bought because I, at the time when I was a kid and I couldn't afford the real thing. But reproductions, you can tell. A galley vase, for instance. Like if you're looking at that lamp over there, and I'll show you this. Um, you're looking at the lamp over here. This is a galley reproduction. And um, you can tell it's a reproduction. We all know it's a reproduction. You'll see the galley mark has a devil's, a little, like a devil's tail on the end of galley. And so we know that it's a reproduction. It's fine quality and it's very good. And you're not going to pay, you're not going to pay $10,000 to $15,000 for a galley lamp like that. But you're going to look at it and say, God, that is beautiful. It's sand carved. I'll give you $300 for it. And you'll be happy with it. But we just want to know, we just want to know what is real and what is a reproduction or a fake. Okay, so that's 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 short in a nutshell, uh, the difference between a reproduction and a fake. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to start, um, I'm going to start doing some colors that you can recognize by the colors. 
if it's a reproduction or an original. Okay, Regina, you you are the winner, Regina. So let us know. And Regina, you got that at 24. You can have your choice or you can take both. It really damages, as, as an auctioneer, and I've been in the business for almost 40 years, I saw what it did to the Coca-Cola industry with the Coke trays. I mean, Coke trays were, people collected them and you couldn't get them for less than $150 at one time. I mean, it was just really cool to collect Coke. And then the reproductions came out and it just dropped everything. And they've never really recovered. And, and I'm always afraid that's going to happen with Fenton. But, okay. So uh, Regina takes the blue. Anita, is that the one you wanted? Uh, you were in at 24. So Regina takes the holly and berries. And Anita is the backup if she would like that one for 24. And if not... We will move on. Okay. She wanted the blue. So we have this beautiful one uh, for 24. This one has the double design on the inside and then on the outside. If anybody wants that one for 24, just claim it. Just say carnival. Um, this has the amethyst background and it's gorgeous. That's a good price, too. And this is kind of a little pedestal bowl, so it's it's gorgeous. So that will be $24, and it's 8 inches across. Oh, now they're saying that, but there's a lot of stuff out there that has the logos that they let go through for, from the last several years. And that's where the confusing part has been for people, especially the new collector. Okay, so this is 108 and 24 claims the bowl. And it's especially hard because the, the groups don't address it. They don't, they, they're not addressing it. They're not telling you the colors to look for. And it, you know, if you're an avid collector, an older collector, you kind of know the colors, but there's a lot of new people coming in that don't know the colors. Okay, does anybody want the bowl? If you want it, just claim it. It's here, and that's a great price for $24. Okay, Catherine Pace, you got it. You, you'll be put in the draw. Let me put a number on that one. I think it's cool that they're that they're remaking that stuff, but I just want to know that that's what I'm buying. Okay, and I'm going to call that the Persian bowl. Okay, all right. So let's see what we have. One oh nine. You learned so much from Rosie. <laughs> all right. This is going to be 109, and we're going to do Choice Rose Bowl. No, you know what? Let's do that last. I want to put something up here. I want to put this piece up. I want to put this piece up. This is really cool. Now, this has a label on it. This came from Minnesota, so this is Mr. Clink's. This is Wild Road Satin Glass Overlay. Now, this was made for LG Wright by Fenton. So this was made for LG Wright, and Fenton made this for them. And uh, it was made in 1977. So Fenton made this for LG Wright in 1977. And uh, he's got a $95 value on it. This is going to be our number nine. I love this rose satin glass. It's beautiful. This is number nine. And it is Fenton made for LG Wright. Oops, hang on a second here. I'll get us started. Well, I don't know anything. I don't. I don't know anything. I don't know a lot of things. 
but um, I'm I'm always willing to learn. That's why I'm involved in these groups so much because you guys teach me. <laughs> Carrie's at ten. Seven inches across. And I will admit that the Fenton glass, I I haven't be, really become really into Fenton. It's been the last eight years, maybe seven years. But I do know the antique market, and I do know what reproductions do. And it's I I just want to know. I just want to know what it is. Okay, shells at twenty five. So this has um this has like ivory on the inside. Carnival is hard to know, and I get the, um, the early pieces, like the swung vases. That's why I, I have people that kind of help me in the groups with the carnival, because there are you really have to know the molds and the styles with the carnival glass, especially the early stuff. Shells at 32. So this is painted, but this is not signed by any artist, because LG Wright didn't sign their items. Um, and so this is not signed. But whoever painted it did a wonderful job. And I bet that was a nice canvas to paint on that that satin, that satiny uh, rose finish. It's beautiful. Jamie's at 35. Shell's at 40. Lala, you're not correct there. You're partly correct. If molds are lacking something, a leaf or a signature is off, that's a reproduction. That's a reproduction. There's a difference now. While I said, yes, molds are lacking a leaf or something, make it, make it a fake. Um, that makes it a reproduction because we can tell it's missing a leaf. The thing that makes it a fake is um, it has a logo on it or, or it looks identical to the, to the original item. There's just maybe a color change in the glass. Um, and that's the only way you can tell. So there's a difference. And I had to learn that because, um, it, it's just like, it's just like handbags. Um, there are coach reproduction handbags and you can tell. If you're versed in handbags, what a reproduction Louis Vuitton is, what a reproduction coach is. Um, and you know that. I mean, you can tell by the material. You can feel it. You can see that there's no C's on the inside of the purse. If it's solid on the outside or the zipper, there's ways that you can tell it's a reproduction. And you'll, you, can, you can tell that. What you get in trouble with a coach bag is if you get fakes that are brought over and it is so hard to tell the difference because everything looks the same. And that's a fake. And those are the ones that are the hardest to tell. They're just so similar to the original. And uh, there's a lot out there. I, I don't care for, repro I don't mind reproductions because I know what I'm getting. But I don't want to buy uh, my granddaughter a piece of Fenton that I think is Fenton. And um, I pass away and 20 years later, she gets it out and she's on the road show. And she shows it to somebody and they say, oh, that's a reproduction <laughs> or a fake. I would hate that. I would hate for a new collector to do that. 56, Vicki Martin. Shell is 58. Yes. Yes, and we could. Do, I I have a piece of uh, Roseville that is very hard to tell. If you collect Roseville, you can definitely tell a fake because of the clarity of the flowers. Um, but there are a few Roseville patterns that are real Roseville patterns that do have a little blurry flower. So Roseville is difficult. If I'll bring that piece of Roseville over here that I have that is a fake. If I did, I I seriously got a Roseville cream and sugar that was a fake, and I wouldn't sell it. I 
I, I think I threw it out to tell you the truth. But if I have it, I'll bring it so we can show you the labels on there. Okay. Okay. It is sold to shelf for 58. That is beautiful. I'm going to put rose satin bowl. Thank you, Shell. That's a big one, too. It's a nice big rose bowl. Uh, rose bowl. I'm thinking rose bowl. It's a nice big rose bowl. And um, this I question. For instance, since we're on the reproduction stuff, I have to do a little research on this. And maybe you can help me. So this is the stag and holly in Marigold. And I think this is a original Fenton Bowl. This one does not have a logo that I can see. And the stag in this one has a tongue. So I have to look that up because these are reproduced. These are reproduced. And the only way you can tell on these pieces are if the stag has a tongue. Can you see the stag there? So I'm going to look this up and see if there's still beautiful pieces. But if it has a tongue, it's either original or fake. I cannot remember. So I'm not going to sell these two pieces till I figure that out. Does anybody know? Because I can't remember. I cannot remember. For some reason, that bowl, that that uh, carnival bowl, I'm I'm questioning. So I want to make sure before I put it up in front of you guys. At least I at least want to at least tell you that. Okay. Choice Fenton Bowl, and this is number one ten. Then we'll do our draw. And start our Friday off. Here we go. Thanks, Shell. So this one is uh, Roses on Ruby. Yeah, King Hopple passed away. He was my go man, too. Sean knows. Sean, are you in here? Maybe Sean knows. I just, I question the, the blue bowl because the, Blue Carnival one, because I've not seen it before. I, I'm trying to take the tag off of this, but I can't take the tag off to find the artist. This is um, a, a ruby with white enamel flowers. This is the first one. That is Fenton. And this is the second one. And this is a, um, a satin bowl with leaves on it, kind of sponged wear leaves. And this one has the, the uh, airbrush crest. So you're going to get your choice of either one. Dino does. I thought maybe Sean would know, but um, that's one of those. Carnival is really shiny. This might mean it's newer. According to George the Antique Nomad, the older pieces have a soft, softer sheen. You know, that's right, Jamie, because I question the blue one, and it's pretty shiny. The other one, the Marigold one, is, is uh, different. But well, I'm going to look and see before I put that up. So Jamie is enjoying George the Antique Nomad. She's become a fan of his since learning he's coming to Marietta. And I am getting so excited. The tongue sticking out is original Fenton on a stag holly pattern. Okay, they both have tongues. That's what I just wanted to make sure before I put them up. And that's a perfect example of what they do when they are reproduced. So if you see a fat, uh, Back. If you see a stag in holly um, bowl with the tongue, then that is a original Fenton piece. All right. Who, who gave us that bit of information? So we're going to get uh, $16 here, and I'll show you these again. Oh, let's go ahead and move that over. There they are. George is awesome and he is so knowledgeable. Yes, I can't wait for him to come to Marietta. It's going to be so fun. 
even if you don't want to come for the entire time, if you want to come for the boat ride on Monday when we're down there or um, to dinner one night, and it's going to be his birthday while he's down there or close to his birthday. I can't remember if it's one of the days that we're there or right before, right after, but his birthday is um, going to be while we're down there. So we're going to have to get him a cake or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Carrie is at 20. You're going to get choice on these. These are both Fenton. So if if the stag and holly um, stag has a tongue, now double check this. These both have tongues. If they have a tongue, that's just the very slightest slightest deal. Um, but if you're a collector, you'll know that. You'll know that. Oh, Polly, if you want to come, come. We'll we'll help you out with things. You can come. We want to see you. Last chance. Carrie is at 20. We still have a twin bedroom left if somebody wants to come with a buddy and share the expenses of the room. Okay, Carrie is at 20. Uh, Thrift and Lori is out. So we're going to do a last chance. It's not a blue Burmese. It's actually, it's um, airbrushed. It's airbrushed. Brushed. Okay, so Carrie's at 20. And Eva's jumped in, so we'll wait for her. Eva, we already have 20, so you can go higher if you'd like. We'll sell at least one. We'll wait for Eva. Eva is in at, or Eva, let us know if you're in or out. I don't want you to come in late. <laughs> Just waiting for Eva. What is a tongue? It's a tongue. <laughs> it's a tongue. The stag has a tongue and it shows up on the on the design. Um, the, the reproductions, the stag just has his mouth open. <laughs> Eva, let us know. We'll wait just a few more minutes. I wish I could show you. I wish I could blow it up so you could see it. They're both pretty. So Carrie's at 20. I'm waiting for Eva just a few more seconds. I'm going to go look at the wheel because we're it's that time of the morning. Um, we have Melbro. We have Regina. We have Catherine. And Shell. Okay. 22 with Eva. There's a web page showing it. Yep. Well, now, now I'm excited because I, I thought the Marigold one was, but it threw me because I didn't know about the bowl, but I'm excited now. Eva's at 22. Facebook user, I can't see you, so I don't know who you are, but we'll wait for you a second here. You'll get your choice of the rose bowl, either rose bowl, the ruby, or the airbrushed with the leaves. Iffy? Who's Iffy? Liffy? Iffy? <laughs> Eva's at 22. Facebook user, let us know. We'll do a last chance one more time. I don't want to miss your bid. And Carrie, let us know. I don't think you said you were out either. Where is our candle? So today we are giving away the mango candle to one of our winners. Yeah, it's you, Iffy. 
You mean Izzy. It's Izzy, right? <laughs> Hi, Peachy. <laughs> Is Iffy Izzy? See, I, ha I have this giant puzzle I have to figure out every morning. Let us know. We can't wait much longer. Eva, isn't it 22? You just put your name and bid. I can't see you, Facebook user, because you haven't registered with our software program, StreamYard. But you can put your name and bid. This is our last item today if you want it. We have Eva at 22. All in, all done. <coughs> I'm going to bring the wheel up here. So you can see it and we're all ready because we're running late this morning. Uh, 24 is bid. See you tonight. Okay, we'll see you tonight. Well, let us know, Eva, because you're out at the minute. Out at, out at the moment. In this minute. My mouth is just all wound up today. Okay, I think that's Izzy. Iffy as Izzy. Maybe. I better go check. Can somebody let me know if that's Izzy? Eva, let us know if you're in or out. I'm going to bring the wheel up. It's not Izzy. It's Iffy. Okay. Iffy. All right. Oh. Iffy, are you... Okay, not easy. Okay, it's iffy. And then it's just how it sounds. Okay, so Eve is in at 22. Um, Iffy's in at 24. So Eva, let us know. Now I remember you now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it. So, Iffy, you get one. If you want to just send me a hello, Iffy, so I can find you. Tell me which one that you'd like, and I'll put your name on it. And the backup bidder is going to be Eva. Okay, backup is Eva. Okay, so this one goes to Iffy. You're welcome. And I will invoice you in your PMs. Okay, Does, um, we have the red one left, if Eva would like it. What do you think, Eva? I actually have two ruby ones. They're both the same. So Eva can have one, and then we have one extra one if anyone wants to claim it for 24. Eva, let us know. And there is our wheel. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and spin. Eva, let us know if you want the ruby one. And we have one extra ruby one with white enamel flowers if anybody else wants it. All right, here we go. We're going to spin the wheel. For the candle. Holly. Oh, my gosh. Did she say she was leaving? Did Polly say she was leaving? Do you guys care if I give that to Polly? Polly, please be here. What are you? What want are you? Did you, did you mean you want one? Okay, Polly gets that, that one. She gets the candle. Thanks, Polly. I'm going to give it to her. Okay. Give it to Polly. Give it to Polly. Okay. Cato, did you say you wanted a rose bowl? 
she got it. She's here. I, I just saw that she left and I was like, oh, I hope she didn't leave. Okay, so Kato wants the ruby. I'm going to give you the one with the signature on it, Kato. I'll put you in twice um, for the draw on the next 10 at 10. How's that sound? Just remind me. And we have one ruby left if anybody wants the last ruby rose bowl. It's going to be hot today. Make sure you drink a lot if you're in my part of the world. If you want the ruby rose bowl, just claim it. Got one left. That You were being bad, Polly. <laughs> if you want the Rose Bowl, let me know. We have one left. All right. I am going to go have, oh my gosh, we, we went long today. We went 10 minutes longer. I think we got in a discussion. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go in and have breakfast. Um, Peggy's going to take that Rose Bowl. Thanks, Peggy. Uh, you too. Next 10 at 10, let me know that you too want to be on the wheel twice. I'll put you on the wheel twice. Okay. I will see you guys tonight. Um, and we're going to have a Fenton sale tonight, so I hope you can come. And we will talk to you. Peggy Mulford took it, Polly. We'll talk to you guys tonight, 8 o'clock, okay? See you later. Thank you.